Yes, uh, yeah, hello everyone, uh, well, welcome, uh, delighted to be here, absolutely delighted to be here leading the uh, the Three Lions England into the Nations League semi-final here against Italy. It is, of course, it's the biggest honour of my career to have this job and it is, it's time for football to finally come home, apart from when obviously they won, won the Euros the other year with, with, with Graham in charge, which was obviously, that was really great, wasn't it? Right then, well, hello. It's it's been a while. We've we have basically gone through two years in a couple of episodes, um, but we've gone through another year year today. Um, yeah, last last time was fun, wasn't it? Last time that was really fun. If you didn't watch it, go and watch it because yeah, um, we are here. It is June twenty thirty one. Obviously, we turned down the Juventus job largely because they only offered me a transfer budget of nothing. Um, we resigned as Liverpool managers just to sort of to see what would happen. What happened was was brilliant. Um, it was exactly what I was hoping would happen. Fernando Hierro, the Real Madrid manager, the hugely successful Real Madrid manager, was offered the Liverpool job. He took the Liverpool job within days and we applied for his, uh, for his job to become his replacement. I thought logically we would be the absolute favourite for it. It said we were the favourite for it. It said we were the odds-on bookies favourite too. And then two days before the La Liga season kicked off, we did not get the job. Michael Laudrup, a man who has not won any trophies in the entire save, he hasn't won a trophy for 15 years, got the job instead. But we had, of course, also accepted the England job. We are finally England manager. It was too good to turn down. I mean, I want to win the Copa America. I'm, we'll try to at some point. But if I'm, that was the first time that I was directly offered the England job by the FA without having to apply. I didn't know. I don't, I've never applied for it, but they directly offered it to me. Can't say no, really. So we've been the England manager for this season. It's been a bit weird. Um, I said I didn't want to be unemployed at any point. I mean, we weren't because we had the international jobs as well. So technically, we have been fully employed since the save started still. And yeah, it's it's been interesting. Let's Let's take a look. So we'll come on to what happens with England in a minute. Obviously, we've got the Nations League semi-final today. We'll be playing Italy. We'll talk about that in a second. But we've got to go. We've got to go to see what's been happening elsewhere. And there's no place we can go to apart from Real Madrid. Really, at this one, it was the job that we thought we were going to get. We should have got it. We didn't get it. Mickey Laudrup got it. And well, he's he's won a trophy. Um, he's won a trophy. He's, he's won the league. He didn't win the cup, but he has won the league. They have run away with it. It makes me feel sick. They've won the league by 20 points. Again, they're an absolute menace. An absolute monster. Vasquez um, getting 21 goals. And of course, Colin Nicholson, 20 goals for him at Barcelona. Now, that is the slim ray of hope, really, for me. That, that Because we didn't get the Real Madrid job, at least that really kind of opens up Barcelona down the line. Um, but yeah, would have been good, wouldn't it? But it wasn't to be. And, you know, we've had a good time at Liverpool, so I guess we need to, we need to have a little bit of, slight bit of suffering. Interestingly, you will see there Barcelona once again finishing in third place, which means that Gustavo Alfaro has, well, he's uh, he's been in charge now for seven years, eight years. I've lost count. But he's not won the league for what is that is yeah six years he's not won the league has he been sacked no he's signed a new contract for two more years i i have no idea why it might be something to do with this he's apparently literally everyone's friend everybody who's ever managed a game against him apparently apart from us is his friend he's friends with fernando hero he's friends with Oli gunasolski he's friends with frank lampard it is it's very odd and speaking of Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, we've got to go here. We've got to go to the Premier League. And when we go to the Premier League, we will see that Liverpool, our glorious all-conquering Liverpool side, are not glorious and all-conquering any more. Manchester United have won the Premier League by a huge margin, 15 points clear, of our former glorious employers. Liverpool are no longer champions. And it's I'm going to take the full credit for the fact that that has happened. Oli Gunnar Solskjaer, who has been in charge of Manchester United since the start of the save, he won the league in the first season of the game, has now won the league again some 11 years later. Some success, though, for the remaining Liverpool boys. I mean, Sinchek and Jacobson, both in the top three for goal scorers, which is really nice to see. But let's just check in on some of the other things as well, and then 
well, we'll talk about what might hopefully happen here today. In Serie A, AC Milan are back. They have won the league under Marcello Gallardo, who is having an incredible career. We saw him in the Hall of Fame. Um, he's gone up, up in that one. He's leaving Spurs. He's gone to Milan. He's done a very good job, and he, he's having a he's having a great old time um, over there. Let's just actually check that for a second. I mean, yeah, he's he is third place in the Hall of Fame. Third place. Hiero up there, of course, as well. And Pep, who has lost out this time with Inter Milan. Liga has been won by PSG again. Neil Lennon is having a grand old time over there. Monaco finishing second. But then the big one, the most important one, is the Bundesliga, where we will see that Bayern Munich are champions. They've beaten Borussia Dortmund and RB Leipzig and Schalke, but they are now lacking a manager. And the reason they're lacking a manager is not because Klopp's been sacked, it's not because he's retired, it's because he's decided to take over at Chelsea instead. Jürgen's gone back to the Premier League, and this time it's in London instead. After eight years in Bavaria, he's yeah, he's gone to he's gone to Chelsea, and that means very simply there is a vacancy. We did not get the Real Madrid job, but we are now the favourites three to ten on to get the Bayern Munich job. I've applied for the Monaco job as well. The Monaco manager has taken over at Spurs, so that's obviously, that's the backup, but it's got to be Bayern Munich, surely. Surely now's the time. We can but hope. We can but hope. But since last time, I have been, I've been, you know, not that busy. There's not many games as an international manager. We've only played, we've only played eight games over the course of the season with England. It's it's nice to finally be in charge of England. Um... They are, they're good, obviously. We know they're good because they beat us in the Euro 2028 final with France. And then they are, well, they went to the World Cup final losing to our conquerors when we were still Brazil manager. Germany on penalties, of course, absolutely heartbreaking. And Graham Potter, of course, did decide to leave. Totally understandable. We then had to play Germany again in our Nations League group. Um, immediate revenge, though. We won the first group match. We beat them with a 93rd minute winner, Antonio Jesus Vasquez. Of course, we we didn't get to manage him at Real Madrid, unfortunately, but we are managing him with England, and he's he's very good. You know, that's, that, that goes without saying. He's very good. He got a hat trick then against Slovenia. Phil Foden also scoring as well. We then crushed Scotland 4-0. Vasquez again with a goal in that one. We then lost 3-0 to Germany. Um, it was a pretty poor performance, mainly because I forgot to call up Trent Alexander-Arnold again. He'd been injured, and then basically we only had Max Ahrens as a right back, and that was Max Ahrens' second cap for England at the age of 30. Which, I mean, he's got he's got a 6.5, which is relatively credible. But anyway, we beat Scotland. They took the lead. It was a pretty poor performance. Colin Nicholson, of course, with the goal. We did eventually fight back through Jaden Sancho and Junior. Pana Marenko, you saw him in the Premier League scorers, he's at Chelsea, he's pretty good too. And then what that meant was we went into the final group game, level on points with Germany, they had a massively better goal difference. We were playing Slovenia, they were playing Scotland, we needed Scotland to do as a big, big, big favour. And wouldn't you know it, I'm sure it went down well in Scotland, not, but they did. They drew 1-1 with Germany, they took the lead, and then, well, Colin Nicholson equalising a minute later, and then Scotland holding on as we beat Slovenia 4-0. And we went through to the semi-finals where we will be playing today Italy. A team who we've not really encountered all that much in the save. I mean, we did. I say that. We won the Euro final against them, didn't we? Two Euro qualifiers in the meantime. Massive wins against Lithuania and Finland. Um, we've got Denmark in our group, which is nice. Our former employers as well. We've been at so many teams now. Um, obviously, yeah, I would have liked to win the Copa America, but it's England. Can't really say no to that one. I, I want a knighthood. Graham Potter's got a knighthood. I want one. I, mean, I can just give myself one because it's not a real thing. I'm just nicknaming it, but I'd like to at least you know have, have the qualification to, to earn it. And if we win the Nations League, I think that will be enough when you consider everything else we have done. So we will go straight into that one. If we make it to the final, it will be Spain. Could have been where we were managing this season not to be. They've knocked out, of course, our former employers, France, who really should have... They should have four stars at the top, shouldn't they now? Um, you can't can't change that, though. But can we get past Italy? Only the next, hopefully, 90 minutes will tell. Right, then our team is... We'll go through we'll go through the squad a little bit because um, there's still some familiar names here. We are quite a long way in, but there's still... A lot of the youngsters are still... They're in their 30s, but they are still here and they are still kicking. 
Um, this is the, the starting lineup we're probably going to be going with. Obviously, in goal, it will be Marcus Dewhurst. He's kept his place at Liverpool this season under uh, Fernando Herrero, and he's just, he's such a great goalkeeper, really, isn't he? Trent, of course, as well. He's back, he's fit, he's going to be at right back. He's 32, he's still really good. No need to have anyone else. Um, now, Fakir Tomori is still in the defence. He is 33. But which is insane, but he's still very, very good. Regens around him. Adam Grayson, who's now at, Man who's at Manchester United. We obviously saw him quite a lot in the Premier League. He is, um, I'm not particularly convinced by him, but we haven't got really got anyone better. And then at left back, we've got Daniel Sully, who is at Chelsea. He is, he's very, very good indeed. Now the midfield, um, we've got Phil Foden, who is 31. He's at Real Madrid. He is one of the best midfielders in the world and we've got uh, on the box to box role this is where we're weakest we don't really have many defensively minded midfielders really which is sort of a problem for England generally but we've got Alistair Skews he's at, he's at Spurs he's he's incredibly good he scored four goals recently in one of the games from midfield all of them were screamers from long range which is brilliant and um, we've also got Noan Kenner who is still at Leeds United a real life youngster at Leeds um, yeah he's still at Leeds he's been at Leeds the entire time I think he's a pretty decent player. Not anything too amazing, but he's good defensively, and that's what I like. Jaden Sancho is still here as well. He's on the right-hand side for us. He's at Chelsea, and then also at Chelsea Junior, Panamarenko, as we saw, um, he's going to be playing on the left-hand side for us. He's been he, yeah, a very good season. And then, of course, up front, it has to be Antonio Jesus Vasquez, the star man for Madrid. He's the star man for England as well. At this point, he has got, I think he's he's got 62 goals. Now, is that? can we see if that's a record? Because I'm sure Harry Kane did actually break the record. I mean, Vasquez... Yeah, well, okay, okay, there it is. Yeah, yeah, All-time goal scorer, yes. Vasquez is England's all-time record goal scorer, which is pretty cool to see. Other players who are still around who you will recognise. Real players, Ben Shilwell still here, Mason Greenwood, um, Tom West, who's not real, but here we had him at Liverpool. Um, yeah, obviously we sold him at Liverpool because he wasn't very good. He's done pretty well for himself at Valencia. Um, there are not many good midfielders for England, so that's why he's in the squad. Jude Bellingham is still here as well. Aaron Ramsdale and Reese James also in the squad. Um, and then other familiar regens. Karen Tal, who is now at... He's at Liverpool. Was at Bournemouth, obviously. Really good striker. Yeah, he has he has moved up in the world. He's gone to Liverpool. Philip Vincent Day, who's at Chelsea. And then other players who I wasn't necessarily familiar with, but are all pretty decent. All right then, so that is the team. We're going to see what we can do in this one Italy and then hopefully Spain to come can we win a piece of silverware with England and then also the uh, the small matter of getting ourselves a job now Italy 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 Moise Keane on the left hand side Sebastiano Esposito of course he's been pushed out to the right um, which suggests to me that this guy's very good he he's very good he should he should be he should be a bit a bit illegal looks very good he's obviously had a phenomenal season Winning the league with AC Milan. Mandragora is still in there. Barella is still in there. Of course, Moraldi, um, another star for us at Liverpool. Um, we had so many good players at that Liverpool side. It's pretty crazy to think about. Um, but he is in there too. It is not going to be anything easy whatsoever. Um, given our incredibly disappointing World Cup with Brazil, um, at least the Germans aren't here to spoil the party. If we can beat Germany, then theoretically we should be able to beat everybody else. Right now, it's, I mean, it's good to be back. It's good to be back. This season's been a bit, a bit awkward. There, no jobs really came up, particularly apart from some in England, Chelsea, and so on. As Italy to low close, we're going, we're, we're very fast. I'm on very, far too fast. We'll put that down. Um, so it's been, it's been difficult. But I mean, if this was reality, then I would only be England manager, and at the same time, leaving Liverpool to take over as England manager would make a lot of sense. So yeah, I mean, I'm fine with it. Um, hopefully we can win a trophy and hopefully we can get the Bayern Munich job. But it's it's been Italy all at the moment. Esposito with a with a wild shot. Very slow but wild. Dewhurst though at least claims. We've not seen anything from us. Half an hour in. I'm going to demand a bit more. Right, it's, it's all Italy. We don't, we don't want to end up in the third place playoff. If we're going to lose this, let's at least lose the final. Esposito running through. It's a brilliant tackle. For number three, which I believe is is for Keo Tomori. Oh no, it's Daniel Sully. Stunning tackle from him, but uh, well, that 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 man up front, uh, Maiolo, Maiola, Maiola, Pierre Luigi Maiola, the star man for club and country this season, has scored a pre. I mean, we just praised Daniel Sully. Literally, just stood there, doing nothing as the ball went towards him, and then somehow it went in. 
Right, so that was rubbish, wasn't it? That was. I mean, we can beat Lithuania and Ice and uh, Finland, but we we are we're not particularly good. Right, we need to see a little bit of a fight back in the second half. We've not been particularly good. Of course, Don Rame is still in goal for Italy as well. Obviously, keeping keeping us at bay. Um, Tomori's on a six point one, which is not it's not ideal. We're gonna have to take him off because he's having such a shocking time. Trent having a shocking time as well. We'll bring on Reese James. And Jaden Sancho is also being terrible. So is, everyone is being terrible. Everyone is being terrible. I'm going to take off... I mean, we've got um, Vincent Day. Do we bring Vincent Day on? That's probably maybe the move. I think we're going to do that. Um, or do we take off Panamarenka and move Sancho over? We're going to do that because he's having a worse game. And then we're going we need to... We go, we're just going to go attacking and hope for something to, to do anything literally not seen a single highlight from us right come on get creative we've been we've been pretty good in the matches we played so far finally we're going to do something Reese James ball across to Daniel Sully can he get it cut back he's been cut down by Lorenzo Moraldi got a penalty and it's going to be taken by I'm going to guess Sancho it's Jaden Sancho and he's I wish I'd taken him off I wish I'd taken him off um I think the knighthood's going to be waiting. Skews to Kenner. And no. He's on a 5.9 now. And I can't take him off. Because we've used all the subs up. Typical typical big game England. The, the time is just... It's gone. It's gone. What a, what a disaster. There's a highlight. Right, come on. Phil Foden to Skews. Jaden Sancho. Redeem yourself, Jaden. He's given it to Vincent Day. How did he manage to miss that? I don't know either. Um, well, it's the third place playoff, which nobody wants anywhere, but certainly not in the Nations League. And, I mean, he's missed another sitter. And, well, we're not we're not going to get that knighthood anytime soon, are we? England nil, Italy won. That was genuinely awful. Um, wait, right. Tomori. It's the Chelsea boys. Terrible. Panamarenka, awful. Jaden Sancho, you missed a penalty. That was genuinely useless. And you, he, this guy's moaning about not being in the squad. He's finally in the squad and he misses two sitters. So, brilliant stuff. Right, third place playoff against France. Um, changes needed after that absolute horror show. I'm not gonna. I'm not. We're not gonna play this match. Like you're not gonna see it. I'll just show you the result. But. Right, change is needed up for the third place playoff against France after that absolute horror show performance. I mean, what do I even do? Um, Smith definitely in for Tomori, who was at fault for the goal. Dreadful performance from him. I mean, Sancho was rubbish, but so was so was Vincent Day. There's not really who who else am I meant to bring on? I'm going to play Jude Bellingham. Um, I think he's not unnatural, but I mean, he's pretty good in in those kind of positions anyway. All right, we're playing France. It's France. Jordan Richard, of course. Kylian Mbappe, Awa, all all the boys. They're all here. Um, why Chelsea have got so many players that are really good. I don't know why why Chelsea is so rubbish. Um, of course, Foucher Lefebvre in the team. Foucher at left back, but um, you know he's he's better as a centre back. But he he can play there. Um, right, I'm expecting a, an improved performance after that disaster class. Are we bothered to turn up in this one? Bother to do something in this one. First highlight of the entire game. Adam Grayson scoring. And we've got the lead. Obviously we, we're always ready to turn up. When it when it doesn't matter. When it when it literally is just completely meaningless. But I mean they've equalised. Because we are. We I don't. I, I mean Graham Potter is a miracle worker. For getting these boys to a Euro final. Because we're not very good. There's just not many good players. For England. Well, we've gone to extra time, and in extra time, we are going to lose because they've got they've got Kylian Mbappe, and he's he's really good. Well, that was rubbish, wasn't it? What a what a thrilling trip to uh, to the continent for for this tournament. Really good stuff. Really, really impressive from the boys. Hopefully, better luck in a year's time at the Euros. Right. Well, that wasn't ideal. Wasn't ideal, but now we play the waiting game. Can are we going to hear back from Bayern Munich? If we do, are they going to give us the job? Obviously, 
I feel I feel burned by what happened with Madrid last year. Is is this is it going to go right this time? And now we're in that brilliant period where the AI is just a complete moron and is doing nothing. Other pl- clubs are signing players, transfers are being made, and we're just sitting here. Not I mean, Bayern have lost their manager, and I've applied. I'm sure other people have applied as well. They're just sitting here, not doing anything. I mean, what you know, get on with it. I mean, we could easily be here for like at least another two, three weeks of potential transfer time or whatever, just waiting until they finally get their act together and decide, oh yeah, we're going to have some interviews, and then another like two weeks after that. It it, it just seems really stupid. I mean, it was the situation last year with uh, obviously the Real Madrid job. We didn't get it, but. They hired Liverpool hired Fernando Hierro two days after I resigned, and then it was two weeks over two weeks before we actually found out that we hadn't got that job. Right, we got an interview, but it's it's not one with with Bayern Munich. It's 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 Monaco. I mean, Monaco is definitely the ultimate backup option, but I don't want to go there because PSG are really good, um, and obviously, you know, some fond memories of Monaco for me, but. It's got to be Bayern, but we'll, I guess we'll hear them out anyway. Right, finally, finally, we have got an interview at Bayern Munich. This is what we want. Karl Heinz, he's still there. This is what we want. Um, lack of experience in managing in this country. Do you believe they are valid concerns to have? What? That, mate? You, you're in Germany. That's the only other country I have managed in. I don't. I don't have a lack of experience. Oh, okay, okay. I do have a lack of experience, but I have at least worked here before. I would not expect it to take very long for me to get up to speed. Yeah, we'll go with that. Um, how do I intend to handle the man job of both? We'll do that one. Always seems to be the best one. Um, applied for a number of jobs. Well, um, fresh start, blah, 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 blah. I'm, I'm merely considering my options. Um, my record speaks for itself. Considerable resources. Yep, love that. Brilliant. Director of football, not a problem. Um, backroom staff need a small budget looks like an exciting future yes we can win the league not a problem I hope 187 million I'll take that that's really nice wage budget fine by me I've got no request to propose that looks very good indeed right hopefully 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 I'm saying that with gritted teeth that things will go okay Liverpool are selling Mick Hogan to Newcastle by the looks of it, the best young left back in the world. How, how quick is he now? Pace of 12, I mean, I wouldn't sell him. He's oh, he Leeds, West Ham, he's, he could be starting for them. He's a, he's a quality player. And uh, we're gonna take the risk now, because, yeah, Monaco, Monaco have offered us the job. Um, no thanks. Gonna gonna just decline that one, um, which will probably go wrong because we now will not get the Bayern Munich job. But we we're gonna have to gonna have to do that one. And there we go. It has this year. It has worked, and we will be the manager of Bayern Munich. Now we can't just bring people in because we're not actually at a club. Um, but I mean, most of the guys. I think are still unemployed. There's no one I want to actively sack at this point. I think we'll just we'll, we'll just agree with all that. There's plenty of space for our coaching stuff. Although we apparently have two chief scouts, which it, I mean, who's good? I guess this guy's better. I don't really care. We can just get rid of him. Um, and yeah, we will be in a few days' time. We will be manager of Bayern Munich. Obviously, it would have been ideal to go to Real Madrid in the first place, but at least we are back. We are back at a top club and a top club who are going to be big favourites to win their league. We've got to try and do that, of course. And, yeah, I mean, I think this is a good fit. I think it's good to go back to Germany and, and win in, uh, in... We can win the Bundesliga. Of course, we, we, we did come relatively close with Mönchengladbach, but now going back again, can we finish the job with the best place team to do it? Just going to accept that, not even going to think about negotiating it. And here we go. We finally have a job again. FC Bayern München, Bayern Munich have hired us. Eyebrows have been raised. They're always raised because whatever. 
We're replacing Jurgen Klopp, of course. It, it was, we, we, we didn't replace him at Liverpool, but previous Liverpool manager. Um, and yeah, we have worked in multiple continents and we list Liverpool and Brazil amongst our previous employers. We have a wealth of knowledge and top level experience and so on and so on and so on. Grant, who of course most famously lifted the UEFA Champions League with Liverpool in 2030, that's not the most famous one, I don't think. That's probably the World Cup, isn't it? It could be considered quite a coup for a club of Bayern Munich standing, and supporters are excited at the potential of similar successes under their new manager. I mean, like the only club that's sort of at our... Because we've got like 95% reputation. I think the only club really at our level is Real Madrid and PSG. Um, but this is... Munich are pretty much up there. Um, they're more or less five stars, just like four and a half, slightly under. Obviously, massive stadium... Loads of history, loads of success. We are going to try and clean up this year. Now, some players, we'll go through the squad properly in a minute, but there's some players who we are obviously familiar with. We had Marcus Antonio with our Brazil squad. Um, the, the key man that I want to highlight is this man here, Kjetil Falkenberg, Norwegian defensive midfielder, deep line playmaker, who is frankly, he should be illegal. He's, he's incredible. Maybe the work rate could be higher, but otherwise, really good. Really, really good. We've got some quality players here. This is this is gonna be this is gonna be interesting. Alright, they want us to play possession football. We're fine with that. Players based in Germany. I'll try. Develop players, sign German players, okay. Players under the age of twenty three for the first team. Do not sign over the age of thirty. Not a problem. Um, maintain them as the most reputable club in Germany work within the wage budget, they want us this year to win the Bundesliga and reach the final of the DFB Pokal quarterfinals of the Champions League as well. I think that's pretty doable. And there we go. There we go. We have taken charge of Bayern Munich. We're back in Germany and we are ready to go. Now we've got some players in the last years their contracts. We'll think I'll think about all that sort of stuff in a minute. What we need to do, I'm gonna go away um, and sort all that sort of stuff up. Let's just have a, a bit more of a detailed look at the old squad. Um who is the highest valued player. Of course, Patrick Albol, a player we've encountered briefly at Schalke. Uh, Heiko Jack, a German international as well. He is he's very good too, isn't he? Um, for Alkenberg, we've already highlighted um, Christos Chiralabus, who is he's, he's more of a winger than a striker, but looks looks decent. Um, we have, of course, got Ricardo Reckers, who is for some reason transfer listed. Um, I don't know why he would be more than good enough as like a good backup. He's only 27. I'm going to take him off the transfer list. That seems seems very stupid. He's he's not going anywhere. Um, obviously, a player we've seen before. Otherwise, not too many familiar names throughout the rest of the team. They've got quite a lot of uh, quite a lot of youngsters though, um, and young young players that they've they brought through. But uh, certainly, some potential room for some improvements. I would think, which you will see next time. And yeah, pretty excited to be here. Pretty excited. We'll go with the same tactic, of course. It seems to work, apart from with England, where it's it's not very good. Um, but stuff to do, staff to bring in, of course. Lots and lots of coaches need to be brought in. We'll bring in some familiar names. Um, maybe maybe Mark Venus. Does Cristiano Ronaldo want to come? Because we, he's so good. He's still at Munchen Gladbach, and he's. I mean, he's really good. Can, can you? Does he want to join? He does, and he wants to be a coach. Cristiano, we are reunited at last. He is actually brilliant. There's one other thing that I need to mention. We're not, we're not getting him in, but we need to highlight this. Uh, Lionel Messi, you may recall, was under 18 to coach at Liverpool for a while. Um, left to take over at Hull City. He then left them to take over at Huddersfield. Got sacked. Was out of the game for a bit. He is now the manager of Millwall. Yep, Millwall. Lionel Messi in the dugout at the den. I absolutely love to see it. Fantastic stuff. So I will sort all that out and I will sort out any transfers, all that kind of stuff. And we will be back next time for, well, what better place to start than the DFL Super Cup against Borussia Dortmund. Can we grab ourselves a trophy right off the bat? That would be good. In fact, we've got, and we've got Leipzig as well in the league. That's our opening Bundesliga game. We might have to do a bit of a, a bit, and we've got a cup as well. Maybe, maybe a triple game special. I don't know. We'll see. We will see. It's going to be interesting. It's nice to be back in Germany. It's nice to have a job at all, at least a club job anyway. Obviously, we did have the England job, but but Bayern Munich, this could be could be quite fun. 
it could be quite fun. It may be just a sort of a one year thing, depending on how successful we are and depending on what else comes up. Um, if we, if for example Barcelona finally decide to sack their manager and we've won um, the league and cup here, then we might decide to go after one year. But otherwise, certainly a good few years here in Germany. Let's let's dominate Germany as much as we dominated in England. And with that, we will draw to a close. Leave a like if you have enjoyed it. I didn't enjoy the Nations League. That wasn't very good. But I have enjoyed this. I definitely have enjoyed this. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss what happens next time. We will be going back to a more sort of regular episode throughout the season. Because, of course, um, it's a new club. Um, we're back in Germany again. We've never won anything in Germany. So we will need to try and do that. I'm not going to... We're not going to rush through the entire thing like we did with Liverpool in the last couple of years because that was obviously it was getting a little bit bit repetitive for me at least. Um, so we have kind of yeah we've gone kind of gone through two three seasons really really quickly. Uh, this is season I think twelve now or it will be season twelve, but that will be yeah, a full thing with Bayern Munich. We'll see how well we can do. But thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.